Hi Aaron, Christopher here from Team Single Check, talking to you about your agreeing on the problem. Now, tensions are high, and before anyone can actually do any critical problem solving, per se, like brainstorming solutions, they need to not only brainstorm the problem, but also kind of agree on what problems to address. Because I'm sure a month before production, there are a ton of problems, but you need to sit down and identify what exactly is going on and then using effective communication you need to make sure that the artist and the other designers are on the same level on what to address problem wise so that when you move on to later on analyzing solutions and things like that for conflict resolution that everyone is devoted to the same task and this is probably a very difficult thing because you're going to need a complete agreement so early in the process but it's imperative that this happens thank you <laughs> wow uh, bravo there John that was uh, that was a quite a display there you uh, it was really good I, I loved uh, I loved watching your uh, discussion post that was that was funny uh you you hit all the points i mean you got it you got it down i like the i like the comparisons i like uh the whole know your enemy thing uh but i mean you pretty much hit the nail on the head there uh you know you got it you're right you gotta gather information about the problem which it can be very very difficult to do and uh when you do i mean you got to talk you know you gotta talk to everybody see what the problem is and then you can start heading toward the other steps to solve the problem uh, but like I said bravo man that was that was good I liked it uh, a plus for me yo Julian it's Nick what's up man from team single track um, basically I'm gonna respond to what you had to say about uh, brainstorming I do agree that there needs to be more than one or two ideas that come out of brainstorming, but your discussion, I didn't really get anything out of it. You know, no knowledge, you know, no steps or no approach that you can start the whole brainstorming situation. Um, you know, I think the brain, during the brainstorming process, you know, there could be at least three steps that you could do one of them is uh, don't evaluate some other per person's uh, ideas you know that just makes you know that creates more tension and obviously if you're in the middle of conflict resolution uh, there's already a lot of tension to begin with uh, another thing is uh, during brainstorming just come up with wacky ideas that actually you know, gets people thinking and gets the creative mind, you know, flowing. It's like Taco Bell, you know, think out of, you know, think out of the box, I guess, you know, you know what I mean, you know, instead of the bun, you got the tortilla, you know, something like that. Uh, another thing is, you know, don't put a name, say I come up with an idea and we go with it. It shouldn't be like, oh, Nick came up with this idea. It's the greatest idea ever. No, it's actually everybody was in the brainstorming session. They decided that this was the best course of action. So it's the team's decision. It's team single track, team rock hoppers decision and not Nick's idea. So um, just next time, I mean, just think about it a little bit, but, uh, you know, good job and, you know, rock on, bro. Hey, Eric. Uh, this is Leo from Team Single Track, uh, responding to your post on negotiating solution. And uh, your post on negotiating solution was on point. Uh, when a team comes together, uh, it requires everyone's input in order to uh, in order for the team to come up with a solution. Uh, when a solution uh, can't be made. Uh, then a deal needs to be uh, made with both sides to come up or to make basically everyone happy. Uh, but other than that, man, your post was pretty much, it was on point. You did a great job. Everyone, this is Leo with Team Single Track reporting out for the month. Good luck, everybody. See you guys in the future.